What is going on guys? Today we are breaking into the UFC Donruss Optic Retail Products. We have two blaster boxes here to get into. The blaster boxes have six packs in a box, five cards per pack, and you can find six inserts or parallels on box per average. We are looking for some retail exclusive autographs or some blaster exclusive purple velocities numbered to 59. These bad boys were $30 each, so we're gonna break into them and see if it was worth it. We are gonna kick into our first blaster box here. Both of these I ordered from Target. So we know if I get zero hits, maybe there's something wrong with Target. When breaking into the box, you can see all of our packs just hanging out in there. So we'll take the packs out and get the box out of the way. If you haven't seen my previous video where we opened up a hobby box of Optic, you're definitely gonna wanna go check that out because I pulled some bangers in that video. These optic cards are just so beautiful, I could not resist myself from opening more on the channel. We got Irene Aldana as our first card, Bilal Muhammad, we got Chuck Liddell. These cards are really thick, like nice quality cards. So uh, if you were looking to pick some of these up, I'd definitely recommend. We got Chuck Liddell, holy shit, a signature series in our very first pack, Kane Velasquez, right behind that, we have a Davison Figueredo Dominators. Is this numbered, is that one numbered? Uh, no, okay, that looked purple to me, so I was confused. Yeah, we got a Kane Velasquez Optic Autograph Signature Series. That is sick. What the heck? Dude, I feel like sometimes my blaster luck is absolutely ridiculous. How did I get a Kane Velasquez Auto? It looks like his pen, like, came up making the C or whatever. This is a sweet card. How the hell did I get that? Kane Velasquez, I don't know if he's still in prison, but he was in prison for sure. And then this Davison Figueredo, I thought that this was numbered because it's purple, uh, but I guess not. What a banger of a first pack. Okay, and I was kind of talking shit about Target there, saying that if I don't get any hits, it's all Target's fault. And I got a banger. I got an auto and a blaster box, so that is pretty sick. We got Pyotr Jan. We got Jan Jaunan. We got Charles Oliveira. We got Derek Brunson. And then we have Stargaze and Brandon Moreno. I think I pulled this in our hobby box. Wow, I am just still so hyped that we pulled a Kane Velasquez auto in our first pack of this blaster box. These packs feel nice and heavy too. I am really a big fan of this optic set this year. Oh no, the cards are spilling out. We got, Dave this pack feels like there's a lot of cards in here. Wow, that's weird. We got Davis and Figueredo. We got Leon Rocky Edwards, Anthony Smith. We got Henry Cejudo. And then we have a silver or hollow Bruce Buffer announcer uh, voices of the octagon. I believe in the optic, you're supposed to call them hollow, not silver. I didn't mention this before, but we have our one of one target security tag on there as well. Let's hop into pack number four and see what this pack brings us. We got my girl, Zhang Wei Li. Kind of hoping we still get a purple numbered, but we did get an auto, so I can't be that upset. Robert Ritiker with the weird toes. We got Tisha Torres, and behind her, we have Amanda Nunez Dominators. So then why was the Dominators for Davison purple? I'm trying to figure out the difference between these two cards. Is this just the hollow version? Is this purple, and the regular version is white? That's weird, because this one's not numbered. It just says prism on the back as opposed to no prism. Weird. Okay, next pack. Don Russ Optic first blaster box. Let's go. We got Francis Ngannou, man's an absolute legend. Joanna, man's an absolute baddie. Raquel Pennington, we got Misha Tate behind her. We have also known as Bam Bam. I have not seen this card yet. Also known as Bam Bam Tai Tuivasa. Nice looking insert there. And our final pack of Blaster Box number one. We're due at least one more insert or parallel. Hopefully we can get one of those purple velocities. We got Caitlin Chukagan right there. We got Frankie Edgar, retired. We got Kamara Usman. We got Macy Barber. And on the end, we have a hollow Georges St. Pierre. So that's pretty cool. It's a good uh, a good hollow to get, I guess you can say. There's always shit on these cards. All right, it is time to kick into our second blaster box of the evening. The first one absolutely did produce. We have that Kane Velasquez auto. I don't know if it's worth necessarily $30 for a base auto, uh, but it is still sick to pull an auto from retail product. We have our six packs lined up. Let's open up the second blaster box are we gonna have an auto first pack just as we did last box we got raquel pennington we got misha tate we got caitlin chukagian frankie edgar and behind them we have a stargazing is it purple in the like retail when it's like when it's like supposed to be hollow because the hobby sets didn't have like these purples mixed in there the purple must be the retail exclusive because there wasn't any hobby cards that were purple like that let's hop into our next pack also guys if you like ufc content make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel i pop out i pump out ufc content every time a new set comes 
comes out and I'm gonna continue to do that. I also post a lot of Weiss, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, uh, whatever else you could imagine. Those are videos, to fun, fun videos to tune into as well. And then behind we have a Hamza Chemaev Dominators card, just a base. As I was saying, I promise you will find something you'll like on the channel. Even if it's not UFC cards, I open up a lot of stuff and you know, you get to hang out with me for another little time there. We got Hamza base to go with our Hamza Dominators. We got Giga Chikadze. We got Yuri Prohazcha, the man, the myth, the legend. We have Alessandre Pantoja. And behind him, we have also known as the Black Beast. My the balls, balls is hot. hot. Derek Lewis himself. That's a cool card. Three packs remaining in our second Target Blaster box. Nothing to write home about in this one. We have that purplish thing, uh, but that's about it. We have Dustin Poirier. We have Ty Tuivasa. We have TJ Dillashaw, Megan O'Leavy, Voices of the Octagon, and then we have My House BJ Penn behind her. I do think that these My House inserts are pretty ugly, not gonna lie to you. Only two packs left. This is probably gonna be my last Optic video. Uh, I might maybe do another Hobby Box if I get really bored, but I don't know. But uh, let's get into Valentina Shevchenko. We got Justin Gaethje, Paulo Costa. We have Brandon Moreno. And then behind him, we have Stargazing Max Holloway. Nothing doing in this pack either. These optic cards are just so beautiful. I might be able to convince myself to get in there and open up some more hobby. Let's go. Our final pack. What will be in here? We got Lauren Murphy. We have Alexander Volkanovsky, Marab Duvalishvili. We have Rafael Dos Anjos. And behind him, we have a hollow Israel Adesanya. A beautiful card. I absolutely love Israel Adesanya. So this is a banger to take home with me, I suppose. Here is the hit recap for our two Target Blaster boxes. You guys got to let me know down below. Is it worth it, you think, paying $30 each for two Blaster boxes? We got Voices of the Octagons hollow, Bruce Buffer. We got George St. Pierre hollow. We have Israel Adesanya base hollow. Stargazing, I believe the purple is a retail exclusive. I was getting really confused about that in the video, but I believe this is just a retail exclusive hollow, Francis Ngannou. And then we have Dominators, Davison, Figueredo, purple there as well. And finally, you all saw the first pack of the opening. We pulled a Kane Velasquez signature series autograph. Now it's just a base, it's not numbered or anything, but that's still sick to pull out of a blaster box for sure. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe, come back every Friday to see my next video, even if it's not UFC you won't regret it and I will catch you guys in the next video.